Well, the Synod on Synodality is closing out its second week, and the discussions are focusing on unity among people of God. EWT Vatican journalist Benedict Sidegren has more. In a powerful act of charity and solidarity, the Synod organized a collection for the victims of the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. 32,000 euros were donated by the Synod participants, and another 30,000 were offered by the Dicastery for the Charity Services. The total amount was delivered through the Apostolic Nunciature in Jerusalem and has already been made available to the pastor of the Holy Family Church in Gaza. The emphasis on unity is emblematic on the second week of the Synod. The first Mass since the start of the Synod was celebrated in St. Peter's Basilica by Lebanese Bishop Ruhana in the Maronite Rite. In his homily, the bishop stressed that conflicts, not only the one in the Middle East, represent failure and the breakdown of dialogue that leads to a rejection of all social conviviality. It is important to remember during our synodal journey that the future of our churches and of our respective countries, especially those living in times of crisis, should not depend solely on geostrategic and geopolitical calculations and analyses. The Holy Father announced the elevation of Father Timothy Radcliffe to Cardinal on December 8, along with 20 others who will be eligible to vote in a conclave. Cardinal-elect Radcliffe plays a significant role as one of the two spiritual advisors to the Synod and chose to reflect on unity and listening. Many people at the Synod want the Synod to give an immediate yes or no on various issues. But that is not how the Church advances into the deep mystery of the divine love. We mustn't run away from the difficult questions. We listen, as somebody said, not so as to reply, but so as to learn. Bishop Czeslaw Kozon, the bishop of the Danish Diocese of Copenhagen, explained how synodality is already present in the Nordic countries in Europe, where there is a deep sense of equality and democracy. He expressed his hope to share the Scandinavian perspective on synodality with the synod to help foster unity. Being part of such a gathering is uh, a good uh, encouragement uh, to see that you are part of, uh, of something big, even if you are, you are not that numerous at home, but you, it, it uh, confirms your belonging to a universal church with all that's, that uh, the strength that will uh, include. This evening, Synod participants joined the Holy Father for an ecumenical vigil at the square of the Roman proto-martyrs inside the Vatican walls. Cardinal Kurt Koch, who leads Vatican efforts on Christian unity, noted the venue's significance. Tradition locates the martyrdom of Peter here, he said, adding that holiness is the surest path to unity. In Rome, Benedictia de Grian, EWTN News Nightly.